Welcome back to the channel everybody This is the children's hospital I just booked in Zaleka She will remove her tonsils today Let me get out of the way She will remove her tonsils today Oh, not today, tomorrow, but she's booked in uh, It's Sunday Tomorrow morning she will remove them And uh, Yeah, it's kind of interesting It's a new hospital Very beautiful inside They take good care of children in here um, I will go show you guys around a little bit But uh, Yeah <laughs> Gotta do what we gotta do Kids, three of them man Let's get in We're on the third floor So she's on the third floor And uh, Kind of beautiful, check this out She's in this room Number 10 But uh, I want to show you this, I've never seen this This is how they give the food to the children because you can order it to keep it clean I think it gets blowed with some wind or I don't know what but I've never seen this in hospitals very interesting she's here number 10 hello well, that's the kids side um, but I need to do tests over here in the big hospital but check this bad boy out this little small EV car how did this dude even get on here I think over here Crazy! He thought this is an easy parking. <laughs> or maybe it's one of the doctors' cars. I don't know. Cute little thing. It's called light. Always something interesting over here in China. Anyway, I'm gonna go get the wallet. We need to pay. I will tell you how much this whole process is in a bit. It's kind of busy here at the hospital. Hmm. Why don't you let me walk first? <laughs> All right, we will explore the hospital and the process of removing tonsil from your child inside China. So they're busy checking her heart now. They take so good care of kids. They even allow Siasha, her sister, to go check it. Wow. Okay, ma? Okay. Da, da hao, yeah. Show me thumbs up, did you? You're good. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hospital closed. It's kind of busy, yeah? And now I'm on my way to go get us some of these hospital shoes. She's a girl. Why is it blue? I asked them. <laughs> I, I told them she's a girl, but they said all the kids have this so this is 35 RMB and then you can keep it hospital close cool huh all right let's go to one of these small shops inside the hospital it's like a 7-eleven or something uh, it's the shop here you can get all sorts of goodies so I'm gonna look for some shoes now um, these hospital shoes you know that slipper things almost like this see if we can get all right, so we got our shoes. Show me your shoes. And I've got mine. But the problem is mine make a sound because I'm too bloody heavy. Let me quickly show you guys how the uh, children's hospital looks like inside. Yeah, there's some books. So on books. This is... Uh, how the children's site looks. It's very neat, very beautiful. They make it nice for the kids. Check here. I don't know what that is. Do you know what is that? Hmm. For play games. For play games? Okay, come, let's go. Yeah. It's actually full. It's fully booked. Um, apparently all these rooms you see here will be filled later on today. And it's already almost 6 o'clock at night, so I don't know. But there we go. Chinese Children Hospital. Let's go this way around. Come, Dudu. Let's see if we can open this door. I don't think we can. We can. 
Wow. Come, Zalika. Check how beautiful it is outside. It's really a beautiful hospital. Green, very new. Come, let's go to your room and you have these couches to sit here. And that sound you hear is obviously the shoes I just bought. <laughs> what is this? You don't know? Do you know where's your room? Oh, there's the clothes I just got for her. But this is not hers. All the kids have the same, obviously. I'm sure it's some sort of a security thing. Huh? Yes. Yes, yes, that's your room. I'm going to go show you guys her room. It's really comfortable. Aircon, everything. Let's check it out. There's... Yes. This is the bed I bought for me for occasions like this. I actually bought it when Kathy gave birth. It's a stretcher and it's like, it's nice material, man. You've got a pillow built in. It's big enough for me to sleep on. So I'm gonna sleep here next to her. This is her bed. Check it out. Yes. Got her some My Little Pony cards to play with, some toys, all sorts of stuff. But yeah, there we go. Check the technology here. You guys say a Chinese hospital is not advanced. Huawei brother and sisters. Yeah, check it out. Not too bad, huh? For a, for a kid's bed. Get on your bed. So this is my bed for another, for the next three days. But this is our room and you have a toilet in here, obviously. Um, everything you need, man. Yeah, okay, get in your bed. I'll update you guys. <laughs> Kathy left the stroller here because she took the baby back home. So tomorrow when she arrives early, we've got the stroller ready. Yeah, you can play, you can play. I'll open for you now. All right, so uh, me and Zalika, we are busy doing some arts and crafts. Check that out. She's uh, decorating this thing. It's kind of cool. You've got a pen, then you suck out this little different colors and you stick it on the princess like she does. Do you like this? Okay, she's busy. Let me quickly talk to you guys. Okay, so tomorrow, 8 o'clock, she's the first kid to um, go into surgery to get her tonsils removed. This whole process works very simple. How it is, how it works is, you load like 10,000 RMB into an account, and then they do the surgery, put in the drips and whatever she needs, and they will deduct the money from that 10,000 RMB. And once everything is done, because we will be, um, we will leave the hospital on Wednesday morning. Um, once everything is finished, they, you know. They added up the whole bill of what drips went into her type of medicine she needs, all that kind of stuff. And then the rest of the money that that stays over, all that that's still left into this, in this smaller uh, like account type of thing, they will pay it back to the parents. I spoke to a lot of parents around here <coughs> um, that's got their second kid in for the removal of tonsils, and they said normally it costs like thirty thousand RMB. So. You can work it out in dollar, 3,000 RMB, she's here three nights, uh, we've got our own little area like this, obviously it's shared, uh, there's another boy that side, but I mean, we are private, we've got our, you know, toilet, I'm sleeping here, this is how Chinese hospitals works by the way, um, obviously we can, we have like a locker to put our clothes and everything, and that chair over there also folds up, or like, you know, you can, you can, you can, you can transform it into a uh, bed, but I've got this bad boy. So yeah, this is what we got, and uh, happy days. This is part one. I will show you guys, obviously, after the uh, surgery, how they treat the kids uh, in Chinese hospitals. In this video, I want to make it clear, they treat her like a princess. Um, they are very good with the work they do over here, and uh, you can feel the love from all the doctors, nurses, everybody around us um, it's definitely a high level hospital so if you think in China you get these 
useless hospitals because it's communism. Um, think twice. It's, it's really better than South African hospitals, most probably American hospitals too, let me tell you that. Um, a lot of technology in here, it's clean, it's, it's just amazing man, and it's damn cheap. So anyway, this is part one, I'll show you guys after the job is done, the surgery, let's check on her, how well the doctors did their job. We can only find out tomorrow. So yeah, Zalika, you want to say bye? Bye. Okay, good luck with your surgery. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Click like, leave your comment, share this video, and subscribe. Very important. Let's grow this community. This is rare footage. You don't get a lot of this kind of footage um, that I dare to take from inside China to show you. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.